Well, Michael Sussman has been found not guilty of lying to the FBI. Hillary Clinton's former campaign lawyer stood accused of lying to former FBI general counsel James Baker when he presented now discredited documents that was so-called proof Donald Trump was colluding with Russia. This happened only two months before the federal election in 2016, and despite the fact that Trump went on to win the presidency, the speculation hung over his head for years. When Mr Sussman presented these documents to Mr Baker, he claimed he was acting as a concerned citizen, failing to disclose that he was actually a lawyer for the Clinton camp. Special counsel John Durham has led a three-year investigation into the accusations, and his prosecution were trying to prove that Michael Sussman, the original source, lied. However, he was dealt a good hand today as the jury believed he was innocent. I told the truth to the FBI and the jury rec clearly recognized that with their unanimous verdict today. I'm grateful to the members of the jury for their careful and thoughtful service. Despite being falsely accused, I'm relieved that justice ultimately prevailed in my case. As you can imagine, this has been a difficult year for my family and me. But right now, we are just grateful for the love and support of so many during this ordeal. And I'm looking forward to getting back to the work that I love. The trial lasted a little over two weeks and delivered some interesting evidence. A few main takeaways to come from numerous testimonies was that the FBI agents who were tasked with investigating the documents were told they had come straight from the Department of Justice and not a Clinton campaign lawyer. Another thing was that a former Clinton campaign manager, Robbie Mook, testified that Hillary Clinton approved leaking the information to the media, despite the fact that they weren't all that certain about the truth behind allegations Trump was colluding with a Russian bank. Jim Jordan raised this revelation on Fox News before Sussman had been acquitted. I mean, step back and think about this. This is the former Secretary of State. This is the former First Lady. This is the former Senator, United States Senator from the state of New York and candidate for one of the major parties for President of the United States. And she's encouraging a false narrative to be taken to the press. And of course, it was also taken to the FBI. I mean, I think that is, that is huge. And so, so much so that the former Attorney General called it seditious. And he's right. Former U.S. Attorney General Bill Barr told Glenn Beck a few days ago, whatever you think about Trump, the whole Russia collusion scandal is seditious. I think whatever you think of Trump, the fact is that the whole Russiagate thing was a grave injustice. It was a, it appears uh, to be a dirty political trick that was used first to hobble him and then potentially to drive him from office. Right. And Does uh, that, may, may I ask? I, and I don't, I, I, I hate the um, word treason because it's the only thing in the Constitution and it has a punishment tied to it. But is it at least seditious to do something like this? I, I believe it is seditious, yes. And, and uh, you know, whether that can be proved in court as a crime is, a, is uh, one issue. But I think people are now coming to see what actually happened. It was a gross injustice. It was, it was, and it and it hurt the United States in many ways, including what we're seeing in Ukraine these days. You know, it it, it distorted our foreign policy and so forth. There has been an outcry of criticism from Republicans who believe the jury swung politically more in favor of the Democrat Party, given the trial took place in Washington. Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley said the jury didn't see the pattern of lying and pushing false narratives. Well, I would be surprised even with a favorable jury that they concluded that Michael Sussman told the truth. You know, the text that he sent uh, was in fact false according to Durham and according to view of many people. He said, I'm not representing anyone. I'm just basically a citizen coming forth with important information. And by the way, that information itself was completely unsupportable. I mean, it was really almost a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory uh, that there was a secret line of communication running through a bank between uh, the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. And, you know, he pushed that into the FBI, just like the Clinton campaign pushed the Steele dossier into the FBI. But the jury really didn't see that full context. They didn't see the pattern uh, that existed. Uh, but I, I doubt he would get many takers in saying that this trial really proved that he told the truth. I, I think that's beyond the verdict here. 
John Durham has responded to the news of the acquittal by stating, while we are disappointed in the outcome, we respect the jury's decision and thank them for their service. I also want to recognise and thank the investigators and the prosecution team for their dedicated efforts in seeking truth and justice in this case. Republicans slammed the jury's decision online. Donald Trump Jr. tweeted, I'm shocked the DC Clinton donor jury let Clinton's lawyer off. Ha ha, just kidding. Absolutely no one is shocked. Hunter Biden off next, then Paul Pelosi, etc, etc. We all know how this thing goes by now. Only people not tied to the establishment DC swamp ever face accountability. He continued later on writing, I imagine this DC juror would not feel the same way if it was me lying to the FBI instead of a Clinton lawyer. The House Judiciary GOP Twitter page read, The swamp always protects its own. Senator Ron Johnson wrote, Further proof there are separate systems of justice in America, one for Liberal Democrats and their elite backers, and one for everyone else. Sad.